Hello students, let's start the first exercise on the sketch techniques tutorials. So let's open new Unix file, new file in the modeling phase. Let's uh, define the name as part one and save this project on the desktop. Press OK and OK. First, we will draw this project. So, you can start as you want. And uh, in this case, let's start to draw this big circle with the diameter is 300 millimeters. So, sketch, select the plane X and Y plane, press OK. Circle from the direct sketch toolbar and uh, use circle by the center method so draw in the axis of the origin draw the circle and uh, press and put dimension using smart dimension the diameter was 300 300 and press enter diameter will become 300 so then in the next step, for example, we can draw firstly this circle and this circle. So the this circle is radius is 68 and here radius is 72. So the circle in the same point, in the same axis, two circles here. Draw any circles and put the dimensions. The radius was 80, 68 and the diameter will be 68 multiplied by 2 and here 72 multiplied by 2 in the next step define the distance between this circle and this circle as well this circle and this circle the distance was given here for 240 and 220 millimeters so distance from here from here 240 and here from here from here it was 220 so press close so then in the next step for example we can make the arc here if the radius is 40 fillet you can we can make using the fillet function between this and this that's the fillet the radius is 40 so see and also we can check that there is the we can see that there is a tangent so this arc and these circles are in tangent so we can make the same here and here 40 you see or we can make the mirror of this arc so let's make the mirror from the mirror function mirror curve let's select the curve to mirror so we are we are going to make the mirror of this arc and center line along this x axis so we make mirror of this arc along this center axis press ok in this case when we make the mirror we have to check that the uh, constraint of the tangency between this arc and the, these two circles so from here open the geometric constraints and the tangent this arc and with second object is this circle so it will become the tangent you see there is the tangent uh, symbol and with this arc and this circle so we made the tangent so it is obtained this fillet so next is to make the fillet here with the radius of 60 using the same function of fillet this one and this one radius was 60 so and the same here this one and this one okay let's make the mirror better this curve 
along the center line of this x. The same check the geometry constraints of tangency of this arc with this circle and this arc with this circle. We made it. So now in the next step that here we can make the trim of function that unnecessary part of our sketch. So he here we can trim off these parts and these parts using the trim quick trim function here in the sketch direct sketch toolbar so quick trim we don't need this 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 ones as well and this one so we trim it off to this so uh, this un unnecessary sketches Next, uh, we can draw first uh, this circle with the diameter is 80. Circle. So in the same uh, in the same point of center point of this circle. So if we if we bring the cursor, you see it becomes yellow. It means the uh, center point of uh, circles in the same point. So diameter let's define the diameter plus 80 so next is we can draw the small circles in the center here these three small circles in order to draw the these small circles firstly we have to uh, define that this circle is the reference circle additional circles so the, the diameter is 180 this one One hundred eighty. Press enter. So then, in the next step, we have to convert it to the reference circle. So select this one, and from here, you see, convert to the reference. Press it. It will become dash line. It will be reference line. Then let's define also one cent one line, and also convert it to the reference. That is the reference lines in order to help to draw these three circles. So. Firstly, let's draw this circle because it's the, we, we know that it's exact point of location here. Draw, uh, for example, any circle that with the diameter is 48. And uh, using the geometric constraint, point on the curve this point on the curve of this then also this point on the curve of this so it's it will locate in the exact position that you, we would like so in order to obtain these two additional additional circles we can use the pattern function from here pattern and uh, the curve to pattern is this circle and the method that's the layout will be circle will be circular so the specify point is the center of this circle so then we can uh, we know the uh, number there is three of circle with the angle of 120 because if we divide the 360 to the 3 we will get 120 so degree between the the circles is 120 press so you see press ok I did one mistake here let's uh, delete these parts delete this one so let's make the quick extend of this circle firstly then draw line here and extend it until the circle here you see extended and uh, make the mirror of this line along the center line of X 
and uh, check its constraints of tangency between this circle and this one so make the quick trim here then we have to make the arc here with the radius 60 feel it Sixty. This. This. Sorry. This and this. So then we will get exact picture of this one. Next is draw this part, last part of the project. So there is the radius of thirty-two. So distance from here and here is sixty-four. Let's firstly drop two circles the here in here using the rapid dimension to put the 32 multiply 2 diameter and using geometric constraint put its equal radius of this one the this one. I don't know why it's ah here it's the we have to first deal with this one it's, it it was activated okay this one with this one now it's okay distance between this and this circle is two hundred forty. Using the smart dimension, put the distance between this and this. Okay, it's already defined some here, here. Oh, so I, I select a different one here. Either I select this one. Mm, geometric constraint, this one with the, this one. Now it's okay. This distance between this. And this, ah, it's already defined, yes. Now we can draw here. Line. And quick. Extend this one. Sorry, let's the delete this one firstly. We don't need this one. And uh, quick extend. This one, so it's extended. And uh, make the mirror this one on the center line select the x-axis check the constraints tangent this one with this one this one with this one okay it's okay okay quick trim of this one and this one that's the finish let's select the finish so we get our first object this is the finish now next project is this one ok save the first project let's open new one model and name it as the part 2 and save it to the desktop as well press ok press ok ok select the sketch select the plane for example the same as previous x and y plane press ok mm, you can start to draw this part then this part and so on so let's draw the circle to this and this circles select the circle circle by center two circles then let's define the diameter of the circle so the one is red is 104 then seconds the diameter is 112 this one 
104 radius multiply 2 becomes the diameter press enter and this diameter is 112 next is for example you can draw that this one is the radius is 160 with the same axis One hundred sixty multiplied by two becomes the diameter. This one. And let's like define distance between this and this. This is the distance is one hundred two hundred twenty, and uh, this this is five hundred. So this distance will be two hundred eighty. Two hundred eighty millimeters distance. So then we can make the arc here with the radius is fifty six with the fillet fifty six. This one we can make the, the same experience mirror of this about center line of X. Then we can change, check the constraints of tangency of this arc with this line with the C circle and this arc with the, this circle. So it, they will become the tangent. So we can make the trim of this part because you see we don't need this one and this one. So trim of this and this one then we can draw this line with the length of 400 select a line here select draw the vertical line with the, the length of 400 press enter now we have to make you have to do the symmetric of this line along the this axis so using the more make the symmetric of this point and this point along the center line of x it will become symmetric so Next is draw circle here. For example, the, the, the radius is 64. Circle, it is in the same, yes. Circle here. Rapid dimension 64 multiplied by 2. Then draw line here and make the quick extend in order to obtain this line. Then we can make the close, we can make symmetric mirror around this line. In this case, we have to check the Geometry constraint here the tangency of this line with this circle. So next is to draw this length 60 millimeter. Sixty millimeter. The same is draw to bottom. Select the line this and this 60 millimeters so close now we can make the one thing that in order to obtain the here the fillet we have to draw firstly here the line okay firstly define the distance it's the 220 this is the distance between this and this 
220 okay and make quick extend this one and draw the arc here with the radius is 40 fillet this one and this one is 40 millimeters so then we can make the mirror with this one so from here select the single curve this one this one this one so along the center line of this one so it's mirrored okay last step is to make the quick trim we don't need this part so it was the mirror that's why okay let's draw here the line it is angle a little bit inclined so in order to check that geometry constraint that horizontal this one okay it's already exists so tangency this one with the, this one it's already exists so in order to just to check it's correct or no quick extend this one so and trim this one and this one i think it's finished with the picture with the project let's open yes it's finished next is is this project so in order to draw this project we can start to draw these circles and this one and this one as well to continue so let's open an X let's first save this project project 2 open new file the call it as a part 3 and save it to desktop press ok and ok sketch select the plane press ok let's draw this to to this small circles with the diameter is 30 and 50 the same circle by center two circles with the diameter is 30 and 50 okay Thirty and fifty. Then we can draw bigger. Its radius is thirty-five. So the diameter is seventy. Then. We can, for example, the draw this ones, these two arcs. So, in order to draw the arc, let's the right, draw the line here. The length of the this the radius is 15, so it will be 30. It's the uh, 30 and make it mirror, uh, not the mirror, symmetric. This point and this point is symmetric along the x axis, so it will become symmetric 50 50, 15 15. So draw the arc here, this one and this, okay. this one and this. 50 in red, ready so draw this one so then define the, the distance so now make the mirror 
of this so the, here the connected curve this one along the center line of this one so we made the mirror you see and define the distance is here 110 110 and it should be same we have to make it symmetric this one this one and center line okay we made it symmetric next is draw this two circle with the radius is 23 Okay, this is 23 now diameter will be two times so let's make it mirror along this third center line so let's connect this with the radius of 20 fillet this and sorry I, 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 Mm, I, I pass to mm, trim. Sorry, fillet. This one and this one. That was the, the with the twenty millimeters. Twenty. Okay. The same here. Same here twenty so next is to trim off unnecessary part this part and this part so trim this so this this one this one this In order to make the trim, also it needs some steps, steps of the trim. So this is picture, and we need only these two parts with the width of 12. So let's make it. Firstly, let's do. For example, we can draw line and uh, check it's the constraints of horizontal or oh, no okay it's already horizontal okay let's make quick extend this one and make it mirror along the, this center line and define the distance this 12 and make it symmetric this line this line along the this so it becomes symmetric next is to connect them and uh, make here fillet with the radius of five this of five and uh, make it mirror here the connected curve okay let's connect it curve so all look is selected along the center line this one it's mirrored and define the distance is 90 this one this one is 90 There is no need to trim here. I think it's finished. Like to make finish, then check. You see, we finished with the third project using the techniques of sketch techniques. 
that's all for today lesson and uh, we will see on the next also on the practice after making the practice on the sketch techniques we continue with the extrusion functions as well as solid functions and revolve of solid functions so thank you very much for attention see you on the next lessons